This is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and I want to give you one very specific message this week, which is time is running out. Complete more lessons this week to stay on track. Now, again, I'm not trying to be an alarmist, but I do want to remind you that you got to get through the lessons of the GED Super Math Pack. It's just 10 simple, easy to follow lessons. You watch a video, print out the worksheet, use the worksheet along with the video, then take the practice test. You do that for those 10 lessons. Really, each lesson should take you about maybe two, two and a half hours if you need to go back and review some concepts. But that includes the video, the worksheet, and the practice test. So in two and a half hours, you're done with one lesson. So time is running out. What do I mean by that? Well, you know, schools are going to be closing in May. Some will close in June. Maybe if you're lucky, you live in an area that they might go through mid-July if they have a summer school program. However, then it's done. And then so you can't really get another test in until late August, early September. So time is running out. Get through these lessons. So last night in class, we worked through radicals. Those are things like this, the square roots. So, you know, what's the square root of 16? The square root of 16 is 4. So we, we worked through things like that last night. But then we worked through things that were a little bit more difficult. Like, what's the square root of 48? Well, the square root of 48 doesn't have a perfect square. It doesn't have a perfect square. So you have to find out then what perfect squares are within 48. And so... Uh, 16 times 3 is 48, so you would do the square root of 16. Sorry, my pen is not working that great. Times the square root of 3, because 16 times 3 is 48, and then you break that out. Now you do have a perfect square, so the square root of 16 is 4, so that becomes 4 times the square root of 3. So when you are simplifying these, and this is something that you'll come across on the GED math test, the square root of 16, that's a perfect square because 4 times 4 equals 16, so that answer is 4. But sometimes you're going to come across these things where the square root of 48 is not a perfect square, and so you're called on to simplify it, and simplifying it would be finding out which perfect squares exist in the 48, and then we found out that was 16, and 16 times 3 is 48, and then 16 is a perfect square, so then that becomes 4, 4 times the square root of 3. This is what we worked on last night. There's probably about a 50-minute video to an hour. I don't remember, but we, we end up kind of going a little bit long. Last night in our lesson, uh, that's posted to the online course. So if you go to April uh, 2018, that folder, you'll see this class posted uh, and the, the ebook that we used that uh, contained the lesson in it. So again, last night was a great class. But again, my message to you is time is running out. Complete more lessons this week to stay on track. Again, you have these 10 lessons in the GED Super Math Pack. All you have to do is follow through on them and you will be ready to take this math test. So again, just a piece of encouragement to you. Keep it going.